All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation two to the power of x minus one is equal to three to the power of x plus one. So our goal is to find the value of x. So for my solution, my equation is two to the power of x minus one equals three to the power of x plus one. So I'm gonna first start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log two to the power of x minus one is equal to log three to the power of x plus one. Now, if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this turns into b times log a. In this case, I have log two to the power of x minus one, and I can move x minus one to the front. So I get x minus one times log two. And I can do the same for log three to the power of x plus one. So I can move x plus one to the front. So I get x plus one times log three. Uh, now from here, I'm gonna distribute log two on my left-hand side and distribute log three on my right-hand side. So log two times x is x log two, and negative one times log two is negative log two. Now x times log three is x log three, and one times log three is just log three. For my left-hand side, I can factor out log two, so I get log two times x minus one, and for my right-hand side, I can factor out log three. And this is just making sure to check that I factored, or sorry, to check that I distributed it right, and looks like I did because I get the same things. So, now that that's good, I'm gonna subtract x times log three on both sides, and also add log two on both sides. So I'm doing this because now I can group all the terms that have x together and group the terms that don't have x together. So now I get x times log two minus x times log three is equal to log two plus log three. So now from here, because these two terms have x in them, I can factor out x. So I get x times log two minus log three is equal to log two plus log three. And now from here, I can divide both sides by log two minus log three So now these two cancel out and I get X is equal to log two plus log three over log two minus log three. Now all there's left to do is to plug in the values of log three and log two. So log three is equal to 0 0.4771 and log two is equal to 0 0.301. So now I get X is equal to 0 0.301 plus 0 0.4771 over 0 0.301 minus 0 0.4771. So now this turns into 0 0.7781 over negative 0 0.1761. And if I divide these two numbers, I get x is equal to negative 4.4185. So this is my solution to this equation. If you like the video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this to with to your friends and family. Thank you.